Hey, him, hi. My name's Claw. Wait, I'm scrolling through my inventory. Why am I still moving? Okay, hi. My name's Claw. If you couldn't tell by, um, you know, my name tag. Ha ha ha. Um, I'm, I'm not in a Bed Wars game for once. This is, this is kind of depressing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a thumbnail tutorial because, uh, no reason. I just... I'm so bad at intros, I swear. I'm doing a thumbnail tutorial because I want to and because I don't have a bed wars idea. <laughs> okay, for my thumbnails, I use, um, 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 where, 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 replay mod, and I use paint.net. If you don't have replay, re, re, replay mod, then you can use, like, after you play a bed wars game in the chat, it'll be like, do you want to watch a replay of your last bed wars game? Just click yes. And it basically works the same as replay mod, okay? So if you don't have replay mod, you can use that. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And if you don't have paint.net, you can download it. It's free. There's plenty of tutorials on how to. But if you don't have it, you can use Photoshop, you can use GIMP, you can use whatever other website app there is up to you. So this tutorial is gonna be um, Badline Replay Mod and paint.net. So yeah! I'm gonna be eating fruit throughout this whole thing. Mmm, because I'm hungry. Okay, so make sure you have on shaders because it, it, it just makes the thumbnail look nicer. If you don't have any shaders, just download cylinder shaders. Just look it up on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find it. I'm using this one. See? See? Vibrant? Mm-hmm. Cool. Then you just go to replay viewer. I'm not gonna go in a Bed Wars game just to get a thumbnail, so I'll use an old replay clip. I have plenty, okay? Oh, wow. It's- oh. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say it's perfect, but um, you know, yeah, it's okay. Oh my god How did I fall twice in a row? Okay, well, that's why this video never went anywhere <laughs> Um, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Just bridge a little so I can get a- I, I can get a cool clip, okay? Okay, um, I'm gonna turn off name tags because I don't like name tags in my thumbnails But it's still gonna show when I'm crouching but when I go like that, it's not okay. Wow. 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 Okay, ready? So usually I do it when I'm running on a bridge or when I'm in the middle of bridging and I try to face the side that has the most uh, shaders because over here it's just a blank sky, you know, that, that's pretty lame. But over here, now that's pretty cool, isn't it? And then I just press F1. Um, in, what is this called? Replay viewer? You can press J and L to tilt the screen. You, it, it doesn't really matter because you can just do that in paint.net, but I'm just gonna go up next to my little character, press J a little bit, and then I'm going to click F2. Click, press, you know what, same thing. And that's all you have to do. Exit replay, quit game. Okay, hi. Um, you might notice that it's a little late, 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 later. Um, that, that's because I kind of recorded the whole thumbnail tutorial, but OBS was still recording Minecraft. So it was kind of all just a black screen. So I'm doing it again, okay? Um, go to paint.net, file. And you're just gonna open up the screenshot you just took. I just started editing the intro and that's when I realized that it was all a black screen. But basically, um, I said press F2, just press whatever your screenshot key is. You might have changed it. But yeah, basically just take a screenshot of your replay thing. You're just gonna double click the screenshot. It's gonna open. <laughs> I get to do all this again. Okay, hold on control, press A. So it selects everything. Go to move selected pixels tool right up here. And basically you're gonna hold down the shift key because you don't want a thumbnail like this. Um, I wouldn't click on that. So hold down the shift key and you're just gonna drag the corners and you're basically just gonna make it look however you want it to look. I'll do it how I usually do them, which is like this-ish, okay? Then you're going to hold down control, press D. It's gonna deselect everything. You're gonna go here, add new layer. Um, oh, you can see the colors I already did. Anyways, you're going to go to shapes. Um, you're gonna change this to 30. It, it'll probably be two for you, I think, but change that to 30. Come up to this corner, hold down left click, drag it to this corner. Oh wait, it's black. Just click this little arrow thing and it'll change to white. There you go. Then you're gonna go to every side. You're gonna make sure it lines up to the edge. I think I did it pretty well. What do you know? You don't have to do this. I just have OCD and you probably should do it so the border looks nice, but I mean, whatever you prefer. Okay, once you have the rectangle, I just click this and I clicked off to finish the rectangle. Then 
you're going to go to your magic wand tool. You're going to select this. Uh, it doesn't have to be 99, it can be like whatever. And then you're going to, with this rectangle selected, click on the background layer, then go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur? Gaussian? Gaussian. It's definitely not Gaussian, but that's what I say in my head. And you're going to set it to 50. I don't know what the normal is, like 3, whatever. Change that to 50, press OK. Go to rectangle, deselect all of that. Then come back up to layer two, um, the border, bor bor border, I can talk, I swear. And then effects, object. Okay, this is a plugin I have. If you don't have it, you can look up paint or not drop shadow plugin on YouTube. And these are the settings. That then you press okay. Sometimes I'll do it twice if I want a bigger border. We can do it twice for this. And then you're going to go back to your magic wand, select your white border. Okay, press the delete key on your keyboard, not the backspace, delete key. And it's gonna delete it. So this is a um, kind of important step. Go back to your screenshot layer, um, adjustments, curves. I don't like really dark thumbnails. So I turn this up quite a bit. All you have to do is just drag up this little thing click anywhere and just drag it up i think we'll go like that and then you're just going to go add new layer and now we're gonna do the text for my thumbnails i use cherry cherry if you want a thumbnail that isn't dumb like all the ones paint on that gives you just go to dafont.com dafont.com download one you like pretty cool um Size, I have it anywhere from 150 to 250, depending on how small the word is. But thumbnail and tutorial are both large words, so I'm going to have it kind of a small size. And then click here, tutorial. And then I'm going to select the first word. Turn it a little bit. Um, for thumbnails, I would try to keep words to a minimum, like one to three. You don't want a bunch of words on your thumbnail because you'd probably have to make the text smaller and it can be harder to read. Plus, people don't like to read. So why would you make them have to read a bunch in your thumbnail? Your title should explain most of the video. Move this wherever you want. And yeah. Now, you're going to go to your color picker tool. You're going to go back to your background layer. Usually, I select a color from the sky and a color from the armor. But it doesn't really matter you're going to left click one color you want and right click another color you want then you're going to go back to your text layer you're going to select one letter hold down shift select another letter it's going to select all of them turn this up to 99 so that there's no white outlines then go to gradient hold down up here drag it down here it's gonna make a nice little gradient over your text. Isn't that nice? Then I'm going to effects. I'm going to repeat the drop shadow I just did to give it a nice little outline. Um, then I'm going to actually brighten the text up like I did the background because it looks ugly. Because it's ugly colors. Tilt this some more. There we go. Now you can pretty much stop making the thumbnail there. I just add some particles um, if you don't have any particles, literally just go to Chrome, type in overlays, and it's going to give you a bunch of overlays you can use. I would try to find one with a transparent or black background because they just work best, which you'll see in a second. Like here you got newspaper, you got some stars, you know, whatever you want. If you want it to just be aesthetic, aesthetic overlays. Aesthetic overlays apparently and you can just use any of these obviously for a transparent one you're just gonna copy it paste it in make sure it's actually transparent like this one isn't transparent watch it's gonna just be a bunch of black and gray but yeah don't don't do that if you're gonna use a transparent one make sure it's actually transparent but I have particles saved so I'm just gonna use the one I use in every thumbnail which is just some random dust particles. There we go. I'm going to hold down shift. If it's a black background, double click the layer it's on. 
where it says normal, click that, go to screen, lower the opacity. Usually I lower it a lot, but you know, up to you. And there you go. Magical, magical particles. Without them, with them, without them, with them. Obviously you can get a lot more creative with it. I just usually don't use a lot of particles, which you will see why in a second. But yeah, that's pretty much how I make my thumbnails. Now you go to file, save as, desktop, where it says save as type, it's gonna say paint.net because you have a bunch of layers. Just make sure you change that to PNG and then click save. Okay, now this menu is important, okay? It's very, very, very important. Right here where it says preview file size, 1.7. That's gonna be different for you most likely, maybe it won't be, but this has to be 1.9 or lower. It cannot be 2.0 or above because YouTube just doesn't accept them. So if yours is 2.0 or 2.1, you can change this to 24 and it'll lower it a little bit. Like it went from 1.7 to 1.5. But if it's like 2.3, 2.4 on 32 bit, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to delete a particle or something because you never wanna go to like 8 bit because that's just disgusting or 4 bit. But if you can do 32-bit, then do 32-bit. It's obviously the best quality, but I do 24-bit like every other thumbnail, so it's not too much of a difference. Your thumbnail will survive. Then you're just gonna press OK, you're gonna leave everything else the same, press flatten, and there you go. That's gonna be on your desktop, you can upload it to your YouTube video. So yeah, that's how I make my thumbnails. If you wanna use this tutorial at all, go ahead. Maybe you learned something, who knows? Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, we're getting pretty, pretty, pretty close to 3k. I'm starting to work on the specials, which I probably should have started working on earlier, but you know what, it's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, okay, bye. Realization. We went from something to nothing so fast, eyes on the future but stuck in the past, I don't know why I let you go. I lost my heart in Copenhagen.